We're going to start in a sitting position and um, kind of focus on balance. So as you're here just sitting down, we've got our legs um, both in the same position. Notice if you're sitting on one sits bone more than the other. So while we're here checking in, sitting down with the breath, just kind of start to notice your hips a little bit and because um, that's just what's touching the floor right now. That's kind of our foundation. So just take a moment here just to notice if you're sitting on one a little different. So with our practice of balancing, we're gonna be checking in a lot. Um, and our bodies are gonna be in imbalance sometimes. And notice when they are kind of how you talk to yourself, you might be judging yourself. And just try to practice just observing and not making any judgment because there are going to be times where we're not in perfect balance. So it's really just exploring. So that's kind of what the space um, here today is going to be about. So with our legs out like this, let's just kind of start to spread the toes apart and wiggle them around. Just kind of wake up the feet. And just start to circle your ankles so you might want to take your legs a little bit so very gentle very very gentle notice in what range you might be tight and then reverse it the other direction and can you rotate your ankles without rotating your thighs so your knees and then very gently just curl your toes and then start to point if your back's bothering you just place your hands behind you but stay strong and just get a nice little stretch in the front of your ankles and then gently flex them towards you. Notice if your calves are tight, um, if one's tighter than the other. And then we'll release that and then take your um, soles of your feet and very gently point them towards each other, trying to keep your knees from rotating. So just working up the, working the feet and ankle joint before we come up and balance on them and then take it the opposite direction and then bring yourself we're gonna check in I just kind of wanted to get our feet warmed up for um, balancing so we're gonna check in bring your feet to um, or bring yourself to a comfortable seated position so I'm gonna offer a, co a couple options here so here soles of the feet together hands on the ankles and you're kind of holding yourself up here so for some of us you know, if your knees are up here, that might that might feel good. It might mean you don't have that sitting cross-legged isn't very comfortable. Or you can sit cross-legged and just kind of notice how you feel here, arms open. Just go where it feels good. And um, let's just gently lengthen our spine. Kind of, instead of sitting passively with our chest forward, bring the ribs over the hips and create a little strength and just a little lift. Relaxing our shoulders, bringing our gaze down. Just take a moment here, breathing in and out the nose, and just notice your energy. And while we're here, just noticing this for just like a minute, notice the balance of the inhalation, the exhalation, and the pause between the inhalation and exhalation. gently start to open your eyes and just notice if anything changed by taking those few moments just to focus so we're going to take some side bends into our spine so we're just going to reach it over to the right and feel that stretch on the left side like anchor the left hip down so we're going to kind of just move back and forth through this what we're doing here is warming up the spine so when we balance it's a lot on the spine and hips so just explore what's going on. So notice here in these side bends is one side a little tighter than the other. And then release that. And we're going to take 
our twist and open up the hips. So if you're not in bound angle, yeah, keep going with the side bends if that feels good. Um, go to bound angle and we're just gonna rotate our left knee in. So we're just gonna ro um, internally rotate it and then rotate to the right. Just kind of open up the hips a little bit along with the back. And we'll bring it back to the center. Noticing that side was tight. Noticing how this side is. So just checking in. Rotate other side. <clears throat> And then bring yourself into tabletop. Oh, before we go into tabletop, real quick, let's do wrists. So just interlace your fingers and maybe just kind of roll your wrist around a little bit. Um, whatever kind of wrist thing you do, and then roll it the opposite way. So if this one isn't the one that works for you, if you have one that works for you, and then you're going to interlace your fingers the other way. So interlace them the uh, other way. <laughs> So we, there's lots of different wrist therapies. So um, maybe bring the sole, the, the feet, the hands towards each other and just gently lift the elbows up as high as you can. Interlace your fingers one more time, just open up, lift up. And then when you make your way to tabletop, do whatever you feel like you need to do. Maybe shake that out, get some blood flow to your hands as you wake your way to tabletop. So once you're here, let's take our hands underneath our shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Toes can be tucked under. We'll warm up the ankle joint as well. So as you exhale, um, start to round your back, tuck your tailbone under, feel the stretch on the back side. And then when you inhale, flip the toes the opposite direction. It doesn't matter which way they are. And then just lift, feel the stretch on the front side. So back and forth, just exploring. Again, warming up the spine and inhale lift. And we'll do one more. Maybe press into the toes a little bit. Inhale lift, just kind of exploring, seeing how the body feels today and flexion and extension. And then we're going to take our spine to neutral and bring our right knee out straight up. Just hold it here. So just check in with your hips. So when you bring one leg out from underneath your hip, it's, it puts a lot of torque, a lot of stress on your back. So just notice how that feels. And then we're just gonna kind of move with it. You're just gonna bend the knee and then extend it back out. So see if you can feel um, the movement in your spine as you bend and extend what muscles are connecting here. We'll just do one more and then we'll explore the other side. Stay strong in your wrists and your fingers and switch. So we'll switch to the left. So just extend the leg out, hold it. Just a nice gentle extension and have to be super extended. Um, just hold and feel what's going on. And then just notice, explore your spine as you bring your knee in and out. about three. So creating a little strength in our back, we're gonna explore our upper body. Just bring your right arm up. Notice the balance in the shoulder blade on your right, left side. So bring it by your ear, can you shift over? And just tap it down and up. Notice again, the muscles on your back. Also, I think I was just hammocking, pull the ribs in, so don't let your back, lower back hammock. So just about three. And then we'll reverse other side. Notice if one side's just a little um, out of balance, <laughs> a little weaker or stronger, or range of motion is different. And then from here, we're gonna lower to our forearms. And just take a few breaths here, just let your ribs kind of sink to your thighs. And then gently lower down to your hips or cobra. So we just did a lot of asymmetrical stuff, so we're gonna kinda take it into a little symmetrical um, lengthening. So we're gonna start extending the hips. So from here, just gently squeeze the glutes and, ex and extending the spine. And then press your elbows into the mat. 
press your forearms into the mat, the hands into the mat, and then draw your arms towards you. Lift your chest up, draw your shoulder, shoulders away from your ears. So feeling that, that's like as if you were taking your hands behind you into an extension, but you're not, you're not moving your arms. And then take them forward like you would be going into flexion, which would be raising your arms up, but you're not. And just kind of explore, wake up some muscles in the back. And then gently release, coming down to your forehead. <laughs> and then we're gonna explore, let's do the same thing, but um, now we're down on our bellies. So just lift your right leg up, see how that feels. And then just lower and lift, just create a little bit of movement. And then start to lift your left leg up, see how that feels. Are you noticing a pattern? Is there one side that tends to have a little different feel to it? Keep your knees straight. It's always a challenge to do when you're extending your hip. So we're gonna reach our arms out in front. Take a breath, let your uh, forehead hover actually. Let's bring our forehead to hover. And then just reach your right arm up. Let it hover above the ground. Feel the muscles in the back and then just tap it and lift. And then your other left side, so very gentle. So check in with your hips and your back. So balancing, again, I said, is a lot for your lower back. So it's up to you to pay attention to that. If it's starting to be too much, take a break, go into a symmetrical um, pose. So now we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. So lift the left leg up and the right arm up. And just hold and breathe. So here, you're kind of working your back obliquely. And then release that. And we'll do the same thing other side. So left arms up, right legs up. Notice how that felt. Then we'll come back onto our forearms. We'll bring our, our lift our hips up into a modified plank. And we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. So starting to engage, bring our spine to neutral, engage our abdominals, our backside and front side here. And then very gently start to shift your hips back, walk your elbows, your forearms in. We're gonna stay here in puppy dog. So however you wanna be, you can be right here or you can start to walk your arms out if that feels okay for your shoulders. Forehead to the mat, or if you have a pretty good extension, you can bring your chin. Just go where it feels good. This is a pretty big extension, so you might not be this far out. And that's okay. Just a few breaths here, just allowing our back to release. So if your back's not releasing there, maybe come into a cat cow, just something that will bring a release to that lower back. When you're ready, we'll bring ourselves into tabletop for spinal balance. So once you're up here, just kind of sway your hips a little bit side to side. Notice the movement, looks tight. And then we'll come back to the center, extend our right leg out. Left arm up, hold and breathe, and just feel the strength here on your right shoulder. Notice your right hip, is it tend, does your knee tend to rotate out? How does it feel if you rotate the knee down to the floor? So explore where you feel that, and then we'll release, and the same thing other side. So extend your left leg up, right arm up. Remember to engage the spine, not hammock the, the lower back. Check in with that left hip, maybe rotate the knee down. Stay strong on your left shoulder. And then inhale as you exhale, release that. We're gonna take our toes out wide and then just start to shift back into a child's pose. So let the whole body relax, breathe here, knowing that you can always come 
to this pose at any time in your practice just to check back in. Things start to not feel good. Coming back down to child's pose is good. And then we will come back up into a tabletop. So actually, if you can, you're gonna come up into like a modified plank. So the hands are, are straight out in front and you just shift forward a little bit. And then just kind of go back and forth here, noticing um, your shoulders, your arms are moving around, on, your shoulder blades are on your back. And your knees are wide and toes together. See how that feels in your hips. And then we're gonna do a different one where our knees are together. And we're shifting in modified plank and just back again and see how that feels in your hips. And which one feels better? Just, you know, be mindful of that. Maybe sometimes you wanna go into that child's pose. And you're different. Your body, like I said, is constantly changing and shifting to create balance. So from here, we'll tuck our toes under, float our knees, and then back and forth here. So knees stay bent and come back and forth and see how it feels in your shoulders. Can you keep your elbows facing your legs gently? And then stay here. Maybe walk the hands in, get comfortable. And then we're just gonna slowly press the right heel towards the mat, just very gentle and easy. and then bend that knee, and then just gently press your left heel towards the mat. See where you feel that? Bend that knee, and anytime you can drop down if you need to, press both heels to the mat, keep the tailbone lifted and see how that feels. Take a few breaths here. And then we're gonna shift into plank and back to down dog. Each time, can you go maybe a little deeper into the calves and hamstrings? Shift into your plank, stay strong in your shoulders, in your core, and then back, and we'll do one more. Feel that movement. Bend your knees, walk your hands to your feet. Notice your shoulders, you're walking on your upper body now. And then hang, bent legged forward fold. Check in. How does the body feel? How does the breath feel? You can grab your elbows, that actually might feel good for the wrist to take them into flexion. And then we'll gently release our hands down Take your hands to your thighs and slowly coming up one vertebrae at a time, all the way, pressing into the feet. And once you're here at the top, take a gentle shoulder roll, checking with the neck and shoulders. Just kind of do anything you feel like you need to do. We're gonna do a little bit of a balance in the hips and then we'll come back down into our tabletop and do some more work on the, on the mat. So, um, Come into a position here, actually, let's do Tadasana while I'm thinking about it. Um, bring your toes in a little bit so that your heel is aligned with the uh, pinky. And then notice you're kind of feel a little rotated, like pigeon toed. Take your knees and very gently rotate them to the front. So that brings the back of the knees level with each other kind of engage, it's almost like you're sectioning into the hip a little bit. See how that feels and just bring that sense of energy up through the spine. Take a few breaths here in Tadasana, check in, maybe shift the hips back, engage the core, make it more of an active stance than a passive stance. Press the balls of the feet into the mat even though you're shifted back into the heel. See if you can do that. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to keep that when you do your balance, but you could try. 
but we're just gonna do um, lift our leg out to the side no specific instruction I just kind of really want this to be a free flow for you so we're gonna take our right leg shift into your left hip take your right leg just out to the side and back a little bit so you're working your glute and then bring it back in just three times we're try trying to get our outer hip engaged here because that's really what works when so I'm going in and out when you do um, a lot of balance work so those let's just do one more I'm doing four so notice how that hip felt and see if the other one feels a little different so get in your Tadasana however you got in when you did that on the right leg shift into the right hip now same thing on the left leg so just lower back muscles glute muscles but we're taking it out to the side so outer thigh a little bit two more and one more and then bring it back into your Tadasana and notice that you just balanced and were you able to do that sometimes if we focus too hard on balancing you know it's again it's the mind thoughts the mind focusing so we'll inhale bring the arms up exhale bend your knees swan dive down start to walk your hands out slowly into your plank take the feet wide actually don't take them wide bring them back in <laughs> and shift back into down dog so just take a few breaths here again going back into some symmetry get that back give that back a little break we're gonna do three-legged dog open the hip and then come into lunge so from here start to float your right leg up notice what's going on on that left hip and lift it up as high as you can and just stay here so a little imbalance how does that feel where do you feel that does it feel good and then we'll bend our knee and just gently open up so you're going to rotate your hip to the right a little bit left foot or foot comes over right foot comes over to the left side see if you can square your shoulders up so that the ribs don't rotate with that and then look forward and however you can step your left foot your right foot forward left knee down and then reach your right arm up and take a little rotation opening up that left hip toes can be tucked under whatever range you feel like you don't get in too much maybe try that range if you feel tightness in your right hip like it's bring your right knee out to the side kind of like a lizard and see how that feels bring our right hand back down tuck wherever your toe your left toes under we're just going to do a couple of lunges so just very gentle so if you have any issues really press into your foot you don't have to float your knee it's just kind of like we're going here and then lowering down you don't have to do that especially if some if some joints talking to you right now listen to that joint so if you're up here doing this squeeze your glutes together engage we'll do one more we'll do them four and then lower to your knee. And then we're just gonna bring our right hand back on the inside, swing your right foot back, press into your plank, come back into your down dog. So you might well have to walk your feet together. We're floating our left leg up. So take your time, explore. Notice how this side feels, hips parallel. Flex your foot. And then gently bend your knee and rotate your hips to the left. See if the ribs open up and see how it feels. See if you can maybe square them to the mat. So you're getting that twist through the spine. Look between your hands, take your time, step your left foot forward, lower down to your right knee. open up lift your left arm up if it, your left hip has a little tightness to it maybe see how it feels to open the knee right toe can go where it feels like it wants to be just opening here strong on your right shoulder and then we'll try those lunges on this side so bring your left hand down tuck your right toe under press into your foot so if you have a knee issue just work your hip muscles here. You don't have to um, make it painful. <laughs> and then just lift your right knee off. 
Squeeze the glutes if you're doing this and then lower down. Three more. Notice what's going on on this side. And then lower to your knee. Take your left hand back on the inside. Swing that left foot around. Walk it back into your plank. Take a breather here. You can hold this or down dog. Again, we're just kind of doing a little sy symmetry. And then we'll start coming up to standing for our standing balances. So down dog if you were holding your plank. Inhale, look between your hands. This time walk your feet forward. And press into those hands. You know, engage your core like you're going up into a handstand. Shifting your shoulders over your wrist, really engage your core. And then fold when you're here. Grab those elbows, release your back. Decompress, notice your breathing. And then we'll release our hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Draw your shoulder blades together and down. Engage your core. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, move through your halfway lift, arms up, mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart center. And bring yourself back into your Tadasana. So that was with the heels behind the toes. Press into the arches of your feet. Maybe draw the knees to the center shift the hips back. So you decide where you want to be. I'm going to take us through a flow, but if you're like really enjoying Tadasana, especially since we're going to be doing a lot of balancing, and if your back's bothering you, you should probably stay here and just kind of really work on, on this. Otherwise, if you want to go through a flow, let's reach our arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, swan dive down. Step back into your plank, however you want to get back there. Lower to your knees. Gently lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, draw your shoulders together and down. Cobra. Exhale, press back up into your modified plank. Tuck your toes under, float your knees. Hit your down dog. How does it feel? Look between your hands, inhaling. Exhaling, walking those feet forward. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, strengthen your back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, move through that halfway lift, like strong back, arms up. Exhale, release back into your Tadasana. And let's just stay here for a few breaths. And then we're gonna work our hips. So it's gonna be a lot. You go where you feel you can go. So we're gonna start with our hands. Um, down at our side and you're going to balance into we're going to move we're going to step the balance into your right hip we're going to lift our left knee up so see how that feels take a little balance so hip flexion kind of moving our hips in all different direction and we're stepping our left foot back into warrior one hold and breathe Notice how you feel here. Do you feel like you can go a little wider? Maybe go a little wider in your stance. Squeeze your glutes together. And then notice how when you bring your heel off into a crescent lunge, how that feels. A little bit more imbalanced because your heel's not down. And then if you want to take it a little bit stronger, heel toe that foot back. Not heel toe, just uh, shimmy your left foot back. And then bring your hands down to your side. Reach your chest forward as if you're balancing over your uh, right thigh, back of the neck long. So your spine's working right now. You're out of that line of balance. See how that feels. And then we're gonna press into our right hip foot, everything, step your left foot forward into your Tadasana. So 
So we're gonna kind of move with that. Hands can be wherever you'd like them to be. We'll balance. Step back into your high lunge if you can. You can bring your arms up if you want. And then exhale, lean forward. Step through Tadasana into your balance. See if you can do that. So just play around with that. Step that left foot all the way back, land. Maybe arms up, leaning forward and then lifting that leg into your balance. So one more time. Inhale, exhale, lean forward, strengthen that back. Inhale, balance. So this time, we're gonna stay on our right leg. You're just going to take the foot back as far back as you feel comfortable and then come forward. So maybe you start to head into a warrior three, you start to go a little further. Finding a focal point, noticing imbalances, which is great. We'll do one more and then we're gonna hold it. So inhale, reach it forward. Then exhale, extend that left leg back. So staying here or adding your arms, maybe adding the right first, opposite arm, opposite leg. Maybe adding the left. Three breaths, focus. Notice your left hip. Sorry, I was looking at you guys. And then we'll step back gently into our lunge, hands to the heart center. One more, we're almost done. Rotate. So revolve, lengthen, and then as you exhale, take your left elbow and gently maybe hook it on the outside of your right knee. Take your gaze down, squeeze your hips, stay strong. We're coming back. We're gonna actually, we're gonna, do a, we're gonna go into warrior two. Let's do a little balance trick. So, Keep your gaze down, keep your right knee over your right ankle, cartwheel your arms, pivot your left heel, warrior two. Hold and breathe. And then just circle your left arm down and back up, high lunge, crescent lunge. Exhale, step up forward, Tadasana. Woo. So we'll do the other hip. So do whatever you need to do. If you wanna grab water, you can grab some water. Um, take a little breather here. Notice your right hip, how it feels. Notice your energy. How do you feel? Do you feel accomplished or are you kinda of judging yourself? So kinda of what we talked about at the beginning. So let's do left hip. So it's getting your Tadasana with that engagement, maybe that shifting and we'll balance into the left hip. So just bring your right knee forward. We'll slowly do this. Balance. And just gently step it back slowly into warrior one. Arms up. Arms up is always more challenging for balance when you add your arms. Take a few breaths here. Pivot off of your right heel. Notice how that feels. High lunge, little less surface area. Squeeze your glutes, engage your hips. And then strengthen your back. Start to lean out of that line of gravity. Let's bring our arms down. Step back into Tadasana. Play around with that two more times. Inhale, leg up, hip flexion, exhale, high lunge, inhale, maybe arms up, exhale, gently lean forward, feel that, and then can you step it through, inhale, bounce, exhale, step it back, land it, inhale, extend, open up, exhale, gently lean forward, 
Inhale, can you balance? Step it up. One more. Exhale, land it. Inhale, arms up. You go what feels good for you. Exhale, arms down to your side as you lean forward. Balance as you step forward. Inhale. And then we're just going to kind of play around. So exhale, just gently, not landing it, just extend it back. Inhale. Stay out of your left hip. Almost create like a float here. So this can be challenging for your hips and your low back. So you're just playing around three times and then we're gonna hold it. So when you're ready, gently bring the hips parallel. See if you can go into your warrior three. Stay here or add your arms, maybe left arm, right arm. Hold and breathe. Bend your left knee, gently land it into your war, uh, high lunge. Almost there. On your exhale, hands to your heart center. On your inhale, engage your hips, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, revolve to the left. Notice your breath. Calm your mind. Focus on your breathing. Take your gaze down. We're going to cartwheel our arms and pivot our right heel down. That's a lot of balance. Warrior two. And then swing your right arm down. Pivot off your right heel. High lunge or crescent lunge. And then exhale. Step your right foot forward, Tadasana. Good work. Stay here for a moment. Notice your breathing. Notice how the body feels. And then we're gonna go into eagle. Arms out, just three breaths. Just check out your eagle. And then as you exhale, kind of sit back into your chair. Lift your left, right heel up. Bring your right arm under your left. Slowly move into it. You can grab your shoulders or wrap your arms. And you can just cross your thighs or wrap your legs. Hold and breathe. On your next exhale, fly away. So we're kind of getting a stretch in our hips and shoulders here. Inhale, eagle on the left. Sit back into your chair on your exhale. Crossing your thigh, or no, lifting off your left heel. And then left elbow under, right elbow. Hug here, or, cross, or wrap arms. Maybe wrap your thighs. Three breaths here. to the camera back and we're just gonna we're just gonna do a wide straddle forward fold so inhale open lengthen exhale fold forward hands to your thighs gently make your way down release relax hamstrings work a lot in balance so it's a nice little stretch there Three more breaths, so if you want to go a little wider, try that. On your next inhale, lengthen our back. Exhale. 
exhale, heel toe the feet in if you went out wide. Hands on the hips, press into the heels, squeeze so the glutes come all the way up. And then bend the knees, take your time, heel toe your feet in, work on those hips. So internal and external, really exaggerated. And then back underneath your hips, just shake it out. We're gonna make our way to a seated position. So inhale, come back up to the top of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Hands to the mat, inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, just step back into your down dog. Check in, how does your down dog feel? When you're done checking in, just gently, hands and knees, tabletop. Swing your feet around. And um, we're gonna, uh, to the top of your mat, we'll come back into our legs straight out. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. So Dandasana, let's take our hands to our side and how the hips feel, how the back feels, how the feet feel. Can you notice a change then from the beginning of class? So if you're really tight in your hamstrings, you'll probably be here with hands, hands a little bit supported, still strengthening your back because you're lifting and extending your spine. Um, your goal would then be to come here. If you're here not feeling much, um, you can tilt your tailbone back, keep the spine neutral, head in. That's an option. If you've been practicing yoga a lot, you can do Pushimata Asana, where you just kind of round nose to knee, to knee as you fold forward. soles of the feet together, knees out wide, and again, just sway a little bit side to side, and then not engaging anything, we're just going to fold forward, so let your knees go, and just round forward and breathe, see how that feels. Can you go a little further? So we'll come down on to our back. Um, we are gonna do a bridge pose and a balance in the bridge pose. This is very challenging for your low back. So take your time, we'll do bridge with one leg. Um, we just did some symmetrical stuff. If your back's bothering you, I would keep both legs underneath you in bridge. So just gently come onto your side, roll over, and you can do a spinal roll down. This is gonna strengthen the spine, but it's a little stretch, to strengthen your body, you have to stress it, so you need to know where, how strong you're feeling right now. So just take a breather here and notice. Notice your back. If your lower back's pretty tired, then just go really, really slow. Um, bring our chin in. And let's bring our hands to robot arms. Press the shoulder blades down into the mat, the top of the arms down into the mat. Flatten your lower back. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Stay here. How does that feel? And again, you might just want to stay here. We will balance on the left. So lift the right heel up. Press as if you were to take the right foot off the mat. Press into the left foot. Does that feel okay in your back? If it does, then lift the left foot up. Extend the leg out and then gently hover the leg. Now notice if you sunk down in your hips, which you probably did. See if you can lift back up. Hold three breaths. Stay 
really strong and then bend your right knee. Notice how that felt on that side, lower down. Take a few breaths here. Notice. Slowly balance into the left, the right hip. Lift the left heel. Before you lift the foot, press into your right foot like you were going to lift your left foot, but don't. Check in, see how it feels in your back. And then bend or lift, float your leg up. That feels okay. Extend your leg straight. So this is going harder. This is making it more, you know, we're increasing that lever. Like lift your hips up if they sink. Three breaths here. Notice one side feels stronger. And gently bend your leg, lower it down. Take your time, actually notice the roll down the shoulder blades. So as you roll down, like you're giving your back a massage, go slow. Feel the middle of the back start to rest down those ribs. And then the whole back. Stay here, walk your feet out wide, let your knees rest together, release your arms to your side. Take a little breather. Sway your knees side to side. Stay here or bound angle pose, little symmetry, soles of the feet together. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And just again, no, notice your internal terrain. Notice your heart beating. Can you feel your breath? Maybe can you feel belly breath or ribs right, lifting up and down? Slowly bring your knees in, give them a little hug. Sway side to side. Lower your feet back down. Cross your right ankle in front of your left thigh, stay here. Or bring your knees in, get a little stretch into the hip. You don't have to bring your knees in, especially if it's too much for the neck. You can just lay the foot down. Just notice that hip, that side. You can extend your right leg up, or left leg if you want it, more of a hamstring stretch. Lower your left foot down, keep your right knee in. Extend your left leg. Take your left hand on your right knee, send it to the left, but tee your right arm out, look to the right. where you feel this. It's been a theme on your sides, on your balance. And then we'll roll back over onto our back, place both feet back onto the mat, crossing our right ankle over our left thigh, staying here or bring both knees in. Engage your core when you do that. Notice how you're feeling. Maybe extending the right, the left leg for a hamstring stretch. If your feet have been bothering you, arches or anything, explore that. If, the, if your leg's up, kind of see where it's tight. Bending 
your left knee, lower your left foot down, keep your right knee in. Slide your left leg down, take your left hand on your right knee, send it to the left as you tee your right arm out, look to the right. Oh. I did that, I hope you guys figured out that I did that wrong. I can tell when I went to the right, I'm like, well, I felt really nice and loose there. Okay, I totally cued that wrong. So if you, if you went with me, do your other side. So the left ankle crosses over your right thigh, and then you bring your knees in and maybe extend the right leg. Sorry about that. Put the foot down and then cross the uh, left knee over to the right. Hopefully you all caught that. See, we're not perfect. We're not always balanced and on cue, and that's just fine. Breathe, notice where you feel it on this side. to your right, place both feet on the mat. So that was our left leg we did. I didn't do the left hip. If you went with me, we did the right hip twice. So after class, if you wanna do the left hip again, this is what we did, pigeon, and then we rotated. So if you need to take more, more time for that, I'm gonna do it because my left side bothers me. So Shavasana, feet out wide, knees together, just Create some space for those arms, staying here or extending the hips, and release and breathe. Start to let the earth just support the body and let your body relax. Notice your breathing. We'll be here for a few minutes, so just take this moment to keep focusing your mind when it wanders back to your breathing.
one more full breath in and out, bringing your mind back in case it wandered and check in, notice how your body feels. On your ex next exhale, stretch it out, do what feels good for you. Maybe bring your feet to the mat, bring your knees in, hug your knees, whatever feels good. Rotate the ankles. Whenever you're ready, just roll over onto your right side and gently press your way up to a seated position. And we'll close our practice. So bringing your hands to your heart center. Take a full breath in and out. And simply notice how you feel. On your next inhale, closing our eyes. Recognize that light within you. On your next exhale, recognize that light within each and every one of us. Bringing our thumbs to our forehead for kind thoughts, bowing our heads. Namaste.